Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, I want to look on some instance populations that was in a Terragen 3 and currently we're working with Terragen 4, but there's still that options have a lot of interesting capabilities and I want to look on them closer. So what we're we going to do, it is inside the objects, we're going to create populations and you notice right here we have a different ways. We have a card which is a flat kind of like um, alpha map. We have it grass clamps. It's a pretty fine. Some LWO object, uh, just normal RBG reader, rock. And I want to look on some Terrigen type specifically reader. So we'll go use this. And for the populations, we're going to use it some plants from X frog. And some of them free ones, they're available on xfrog.com. If you're going to the store software and you're going to samples, right here they have to release sometimes very nice samples. You can try it. And you notice they will come in different formats, included LWO, RBG, Maya, VU, or specifically for the Terragen. This will say Terragen 2 format, but it will be supporting Terragen 3 and 4. It's a T format. So if you notice right here, specifically ROTGO format. Of course, turn, um, this XFROG application, if you're using it, you can create your own, or they have many different um, plants for sale or species, but to try it, you can go ahead and just download it, these um, test ones, so you can play and see how they will work. Okay, so inside, let's go ahead and we'll go to Add Object Populations, and we're going to click on TGO Reader. Okay, so we have it our opening, and you can see I have a few of them loaded, so we can go and select one. I'm just going with a pine, but you have it flowers and all different ones. This is basic model. We have it our billboards if you want to use it. And I'm just going inside the model, and you notice right here we have it all three different models. They are, um, if you're familiar with the view application, in view, you have a species that you can modify and they're changing. Right here, the kind of model is already predefined for you, so you cannot really modify, but you can use a different pre-made species and combination with them, kind of distributing them in different patterns, you can have this randomized look. But again, the difference between like um, the plant factory or the VU that is species in all creating random populations this is already pre-made kind of. Okay, let's go ahead, we click open. And in order to right here, we're creating a different um, object. So let's expand and look a little bit closer what we have. Notice that we have our object as itself. If we click on first. And in this object, we have our material, the shader. Currently we have the bark and we have needles. We can add or modify additional um, shader if we need it. And you can see for us, we open our surface shader and we'll look on a bar a bit closer on the, surf on the shader. We have it very um, flexible that we can modify, included diffuse color, translucency, luminosity, we have the specular, displacement if you have it. And with current material, you can see it does not include it. But if you have something more complex, you can always include it. And this is as your um, shader default properties for the Terragen. Okay, so just let you know, so it's right here. If you need to modify, if you need to adjust the color image, or for some reason you want to create your own variation, you may be going inside and modify like bark or needles, make the yellow color. So adjust color image and you can do from this point as well, you can modify some color function. For example, we can go on a height, the higher plants, maybe they change colors. So you can also modify from here to overlay color on specific um, shader. So let's go next. We have our object and you can see right here, we have our preview where we have locations for this. Also transformer and global tra adjustment for the object itself, include positions and additional Okay, so if you have it some pre-animated like a wind, you can include it some sequencing for this. Okay, some modifiers, shaders, 
and all additional options. What we're going to look more closer, it is on our distribution. So you notice right here we have one square and here like three. So it's show, tell us this is more as populations of the our objects. And on the uh, tree, we can see this is going from the our object and it's where it will reside on a planet, terrain, fractal terrain. Let's look a little bit closer into um, sorry, right here. And you can see from compute terrain where we compute our normals. Then we're going and connecting to our planes as a terrain share. So this is placement. And we'll look in a second where we have density shader or object to sit on. So let's go ahead. We go and click. Um, just let's go zoom out a little bit. Okay. okay. Maybe even a little bit more. There you go. So we can see our terrain. Okay, the population is very easy. So we create it, we add an object, we're going on a populate now. And you notice that right here we have our object populating. By default, it is populating in a bounding box. You can always switch to wireframe or textures if you prefer to look. Remember, switching those options will affect how fast your computer responds based on your video card. So it does not affect how fast it's rendered, but it will affect um, on a preview how fast you can move around or how many polygons will render on your video card. So currently it's um, supporting and look okay and on my video card. So right here we have our default populations and it's based on our position area at center, rotation, also link areas and objects. So we can always go ahead and, for example, move area a little bit more far away repopulate so we can repositioning as you need it okay and adjustments um sometimes when you work maybe a little bit closer you want to modify your populations and it's actually very nice to done with this if we're going inside the editing and we go ahead and click on start editing when we do this you notice our box is changing to bright orange so we can select each population modify them moving around drop to the ground okay to the terrain we can also have it all additional properties like a scale them change the scale okay or increase decrease um, positions okay, on each instance so right here so we can go modify these positions rotation and do all other prop and modify each one the nice things about this that is um, the detergent will remember all individual instance. So for example, if we modify stuff, modify each, for example, just let's say with positions, we modify maybe size for them and other properties. And we're going inside and going change overall uh, size scale for all of our objects. Okay. It's one effect those that we just modify. You can see the small ones. So it will affect only um, all global, not individual instance that we currently modified. So let's go back to this one. Okay, so this is one. And of course, if you don't like it what done, you always can restore, delete it, restore, modify it. So they put back in original places. So if you need it as well, you can highlight if you modify some and show delete it as well so it will show bounding boxes for those this is kind of very powerful engine when you start working but beside that is more powerful it's how we'll interact with your terrain so let's do look on this one in um, next tutorial